Kick for my win. I need my hands. This life is real. And they pretend. They must have been. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. Kick for my win. I need my hands. This life is real. And they pretend. They must have been. Job, I get it done, but you should know that Shot like a son of 101, you should know that I get the front and in the back, you should know that No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that All I know, ten toes, never fold Bane roll, on the go Ice hold, ice hold, ice hold Hit for my win, I need my hands This life is real, if they pretend Hit most of the things, I get it in So I hit them on the FaceTime I need it all for them so no I cannot waste time Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline We trust the process and all they know it takes time You can get it, got no worries, I'm gonna make my how, how many of you guys have a dream by show of hands? Who, who, who can tell me their dream? You wanna go play in the NBA? Someone else tell me their dream being the best you could be. When I was young, listen, I grew up here at Al Davies Boys and Girls Club, right? And when I was young, I had a dream. I wanted to be a really good football player, okay? That was my dream, it was something that I worked toward. But when I was young, I didn't have a lot of confidence. And so, when I used to come to practice, I used to have my head down, I really wasn't a good teammate. I used to say I wanted to be this great football player, but I really didn't believe in myself. When I was young, I said I wanted to play running back. But the coach, he, uh, he said, you're not a running back, you're gonna play in the offensive line. But that summer, after my first practice, I said, you know what, I'm gonna work real hard and I'm gonna build my confidence, I'm gonna build this belief in myself because I have this big dream, I wanna play college football. I used to go run those stairs at Stadium High School. I lined up, the coach said, John, if you could beat all these guys in a race, he said, you will be the running back. Coach says, set, go. And guess who won the race? Yeah. I won the race. You guys see this ring? Yeah. I won a championship in college. It was one of the coolest things that I ever accomplished in my life. I realized when football was over that I was more than a football player. One, always remember to always believe in yourself. Because if you believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything, all right? And number two, you can never give up on your dream. Never give up, all right? I want you guys to repeat after me. Say never. Never. Give. Up. Oh. Repeat after me, say believe. believe, 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 and push is all about inspiring young people like you to keep pushing for their dream. God is good, keep pushing. He's a phenomenal speaker, he's life changing. I brought two of these books, and now this book is about a young lion cub that used to get bullied, that had learning disabilities, very similar to my life story, right? So in closing, I want each of you to pray after me. When I say great thoughts, you all say great thoughts. Great thoughts. Great thoughts. Great actions. Great actions. Great purpose. Great purpose. All right, y'all, keep pushing. What's up, bro? Let's go. Give me a hand. When you say it's your dream, where do you want to take it to? How big is your dream, I guess, is a, a better way of phrasing my question. To make it to the Hall of Fame. I'm in the Hall of Fame at my college. And on January 3rd, my high school's putting me in the Hall of Fame. That's a great goal to have. College career. To be Eastern Washington's first AP All American ever. He also played in pro basketball in Slovenia. He also played in Cyprus, the Dominican Republic, Germany, Israel, Poland, and here in the USA. I give you 1996 2000 Player of the Year, Alvin Snow. Folks that go into the Hall of Fame have done things that other folks typically aren't necessarily willing 
to do, the kind of work that it takes to get to the Hall of Fame in any, in any area, any field, right? And now, because I'm, I'm, I'm able to use those relationships, I'm able to help other people. So at the end of the day, this is gonna be all about relationships. We have to manage those relationships. We have to really do a healthy, good, do a good job of keeping those relationships healthy. No matter what you want to do, I didn't know I was going to become an agent. I didn't know I was going to. I thought I was going to coach college basketball. So you guys, do you know who Abdul Gaddy is? He was your coach. Where? Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. You guys know who Ahmad Rory is? Yeah, that's my big brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Overseas. He is. So I represent him as well. He did go to Lincoln. How do you know that, man? So for me, that's something else that's really important, is doing a really good job for the guys from this area and helping them get to a place where not only are they living out their dreams, but they're doing so and, and putting them in a position to provide for their families. My name is Alex Montgomery, Tacoma native, went to Lincoln High School. After that, I got a full ride to Georgia Tech, majored in Stack, Science, Technology, and Culture. After that, got drafted, first round, 10th pick to the WNBA. Um, but a little bit about myself. Um, I started playing basketball in fourth grade. I only played against dudes. I hated playing against girls because they was weak to me. Um, you know, I asked myself, what is my purpose? Like, why do I play basketball? Yeah, you can love basketball, but why? You just like shooting the basketball? What? Like, you get an adrenaline rush? Like, what is it? I found my purpose, and my purpose is because I love my little brother and sister and they look up to me. My family looks up to me, so they are my purpose. They are why I play basketball. And if you ever find anything in life being hard, find something that's gonna be your happy place. Basketball is my happy place. Every time, maybe get into a fight, something's not going my way throughout the day, I couldn't wait to get to practice. That's my happy place, that's my happy zone. Nothing matters at that moment besides basketball. Like nothing. I don't care if I just got my heart broken. Nothing matters right now but basketball and me getting better. So every time you step two feet on the court, get better at something. I'm weak with my left hand. Okay, I gotta get better with my left hand. I'm weak with my right. Gotta get better with my right. My shot's off. I gotta hold my follow through a little bit higher. My handle's weak. Gotta get better with my handles. Every time you step two feet on the court, get better at something. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your trainer's time. None of that. Don't waste your parents' time and their money. Get better every single time you step on the court, okay? If you leave the gym, be like, dang, did I get better? Nah, I could've went a little bit harder. Why not leave it all on the court? Why not? You never know who's watching. You never know who's watching. Yeah, you're gonna go through adversity. You know, there's days you guys don't want to get up when you guys are tired, right, and go to school and, and, and do this or do your homework after school, right? You guys don't want to do that, right? But see, it's those things that's going to translate to you on the court because what you put into that, things that you don't like, like for instance, say somebody don't like math or English or, or say your teacher is giving you a hard time. But see, sometimes you guys got to know thing about tough love. When there's a coach on you, like coach said, that was, that's tough on you, that means because they care. Like I hated sitting in class, I hated reading, all that. But I knew in order for me to be successful, I had to get good, good, good grades. In order for me to be accepted into Georgia Tech, I had to end with a 3-5 in high school. You may love basketball, but how much do you love it? If you love basketball, like you think you do, you'll do whatever it takes to be successful. And that is getting A's and B's. Not just C's, okay, C's here and there, but focus on A's and B's. Okay, because you don't want a college coach looking at you, oh, dang, let me see his transcript. Oh, D's and S's. I can't count on him. On to the next. You just lost your opportunity. Now, this life is short. You guys are only going to be kids for a little bit. So enjoy your guys' youth because it's going to go by like that. In the real world, it's cut. It's really cold world out there. Don't ever count on anyone else to believe in you. Okay? You got to believe in yourself first. Okay? Be killers. Go get what's yours. Nothing is stopping you but you. I had a bad attitude growing up, like bad as far as basketball, um, just being out with my friends, social, I had a bad attitude. Like, uh, so that, that's the only thing I would change, just be a more positive person. Did you put yourself in basketball or something that's part of you? When I'm working out individually, yes, I push myself. Um, 
But my mother, she's my inspiration. Yeah, my mother. Three things that we truly look for is who you are as a person, mm. what type of character you have, who you are as a student, and then obviously, can you play? If you don't have one of those things that check our box, we can't recruit you. Mm. You're gonna hit roadblocks. But how do you handle those roadblocks? How do you handle those challenges and to do your work and to compete every day? Because what you're doing is setting yourself up when you get older, when you get a career, when you become a husband, when you become a father. How do you handle the daily day challenges that come in? And, and, it's, and a, lot of the, a lot of the things that people tell you when you're younger, you don't believe it's true because you guys can't understand it because you guys are so young. Because everything that you do, it comes back full circle. I always thought I was going to go to the NBA. I did. There's never a doubt in my mind. So I was cocky. I never expected the unexpected. But like Coach just said, when you go to class, then you got early uh, practice in the morning, then after that, that's weightlifting. And then on top of that, after all of that, you gotta go to study hall from eight to 10. Well, guess what? If you don't go to study hall, you don't get to play. And still to this day, it haunts me that I didn't play one game and signed with Oregon State, Iowa State, Virginia Tech, New Mexico, and Hawaii. That's five times that I almost got on the court. I was this close, but because I, I didn't do the grades, I didn't take it seriously, I plagiarized cheating basically on the paper because in my mind when I was young, you can't cut corners. All the people that you see made it in the NBA, like who's your favorite player in the NBA? Well, I'll tell you guys a story about Steph Curry. Steph Curry was in the gym and I got a scholarship from Seth Greenberg. And you know what he said about him? He said Steph Curry was too short, okay? You guys know Steph Curry's father? Y'all ever heard about him, a sharpshooter? Well, he played at my college, Virginia Tech. When I used to walk in the gym, there used to be a shrine to him. So just think about this. Steph Curry wanted to go to Virginia Tech because that's where his dad went. And back then he couldn't, he was a nobody. I remember this guy. And I told Coach, you see this guy? You see this guy? You know what he said to me? You want me to give him your scholarship? You got his scholarship. Well, Steph Curry ended up going to Davidson in South Carolina. Now, he didn't take that where he wanted to go to Virginia Tech, but they didn't want him. He took that as fire and ended up being one of the greatest players. And that's probably, one of the greatest stories in my life that I did get Steph Curry scholarship. <laughs> I did. It's a true story. This place has been instrumental for so many of us. Let me, let me see that ball, please. And this thing has given so many of us so many opportunities. This thing can take you all over the world if you let it. It can teach you relationship, determination, respect, clock management, time management, so many things that thing can do for you. And it did it for me. So I'm so happy to be able to be here and give back. If you don't do good in school, you can't do this. It doesn't let you keep going. This thing will stop you from going if you don't do good in school. You'll stop yourself. Who wants to be great? I do. All right, everybody's got their hand up. Who says you can't be great? Go be great in class. Go be great in the at home. Go be great in the community. Hard work, apple juice. Hard work, apple juice. One, two, three. Hard work, apple juice. All right, good job, guys. Thank you for being here. I didn't get a shirt. I didn't get a shirt. Okay, go, you'll go at the front desk. You'll go after one, okay? Thanks for being here.